Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo, and today we're going to be talking about the flip knife. So as you can probably see, there is Minecraft gameplay in the background. That is because my computer is not able to run CSGO very well, and is only really able to run smaller games like Minecraft pretty well. So I decided to do that for screen recording, and it seemed to work pretty well, so that's what we're going to be doing for this video. I'm going to be building a mansion in the background, and uh, yeah, it should just be kind of a little relaxing little gameplay thing in the back to watch. So uh, anyway, let's get on to the topic at hand. So like I said, Today's topic is flip knives, and specifically the flip knife being one of the new risers in the terms of high tier skins that are actually gaining in value. So the reason that we're talking about this today is because I was kind of thinking about knife prices, and I remembered that a lot of flip knives are actually surprisingly high right now, and if you compare them to gut knives, which in the past they've been really close in price to gut knives, then you can actually see that the flip knives are much, much higher priced than gut knives pretty much across the board at this point. Gut knives usually go for about $60 and they're very low tier skins, while flip knives go for about $80 in their low tier skins. Gun knives go for about $100 in their mid tier skins, while flip knives go for about $150 in their mid tier skins. And then gut knives go for about $200 in their high tier skins, like the very high tier skins. And flip knives go all the way up to $400 in their highest tier skins. Now, this is definitely a really weird change because for the longest time, gut knives and flip knives were kind of hand in hand in their price levels. But kind of recently, flip knives have really got a huge gain. And so we're going to try and talk about what that reason may be and why flip knives might be a good investment for the future. So, the primary reason that I think flip knives actually did gain so much in value is because flip knives are kind of getting rarer over time that is usually the jump to the conclusion kind of thing that uh, would you know raise something in value over time and i think that that's probably the case with flip knives i think they did get rarer over time and i think that they kind of were being unboxed less i don't know if this is because maybe valve messed with some sort of the rates and flip knives just decreased in the rate that they were being actually dropped from cases but i do think that there is something kind of weird with how flip knives were being given to players in this current day and age. So yeah, the first reason could easily be rarity as we all know. Rarity obviously affects the price of skins and makes them go in a much higher direction, so that could definitely be a reason. The other reason though I think that maybe flip knives are actually gaining in price, and this one's probably more plausible, is because they're getting a little bit of a better view by the community themselves. It kind of used to be where flip knives and gut knives were kind of put in the same category of being a low tier knife, and the community kind of had a negative view on them. They were kind of like, oh, if you have this knife, you're not really that rich, your inventory is not really that good, you know, and obviously that's kind of a bad mindset to have in the first place, but that could definitely be the reason that flip knives had a lower value in the past. But now I think with the newer knives like the Stiletto knife and the Navaha knife, the flip knife was kind of like given a more of a priority as a knife to be obtained by players because they kind of looked at the Stiletto and the Navaha and they were like, well this is obviously not as good of a knife as the flip knife so let's put the flip knife in a higher value range on those two knives. So that line of reasoning is basically that there is knives that are worse than the flip knife so therefore the flip knife should be higher valued than those knives. Obviously it's not higher valued at this point just because those knives are newer and so they're going to maintain a higher value for the time being until obviously it goes down in price over time and the prisma case goes down in price over time so right now those do hold a higher value than the flip knife but i'm thinking that the reasoning is that those knives are seen as you know lesser than the flip knife they're seen as worse uh as base skins for the flip knife and so people would rather have the flip knife than those ones and that could be a reason for the flip knife actually gaining in value now i don't think that that is the ultimate reason for all of this happening but i do definitely think that it does contribute to it and uh it is kind of hard to say why the flip knife just did suddenly gain in price so rapidly and it's kind of hard to accurately determine what the real reason for that was but we can kind of assume based on these factors that those are probably why the flip knife gained in value so just to wrap this section up basically what i'm saying is it's kind of a comparative thing people were like yeah the flip knife is bad in the in the past but now that we have these newer knives that aren't very good the flip knife is now better overall so that means the flip knife is not such a low tier skin and maybe it does deserve a higher price range for some of the skins on it so with that section of the video over let's talk about the investment aspect of the flip knife and how good the flip knife can actually be in terms of boosting your inventory in value so anyway guys moving on to this section we want to talk about why the flip knife will be a good investment for the future and you know if it will actually be a good investment for the future and the answer to those two questions is pretty much undeniably yes i do think that the flip knife is going to continue gaining in value for a couple reasons the first one obviously being that it is getting rarer by the day we don't have any foreseeable future releases of flip knife skins or you know more flip knives being in newer cases I don't think they're going to put it in the 20th anniversary case. It would be kind of weird if they did. So I don't think that's going to happen. But uh, because of that, I do think the flip knife is only going to get rarer as the days go by. And so obviously that can impact the price in a positive way because the rarer skin gets, the more value it will gain. Uh, so also another reason that the flip knife will gain in price
price is probably because of the Prisma case going down in price. So I think that the more available that the Prisma case becomes, the more you know people that can actually open Prisma cases in large quantities and get more knives from them, uh, I think that the more uh, the value of the newer knives like the Stiletto and the Ursus and the Talon will actually drop in value. And I think that the Talon knife is going to kind of end up somewhere around the Butterfly knife range in terms of price or maybe the Karambit uh, kind of price range. And I think that the other knives are going to kind of go all the way down to around the gut knife range, excluding the Ursus, obviously, because people like that skin just because it's really large and it shows a lot of the skin that's on it. So I don't think the Ursus will be affected by that, by the way. But uh, onto the flip knife and why the Prisma case dropping can actually increase the price of the flip knife. Uh, with the Prisma case becoming more available, that means the knives in the Prisma case are also going to become more available in the future. So I think that that means the flip knife is going to obviously be less available than those knives and the, and the Prisma case itself. So with that being said, I think the flip knife can only gain in value in that terms of rarity. So basically the flip knife can only go in up in price as the Prisma case goes down in price. And that is a very good thing for a lot of people looking to invest in it because you can just watch the value of the Prisma case and the longer that it goes down, the higher and farther that the flip knife will go up. Now, I don't think the flip knife is going to pass any crazy barriers in the future, kind of like passing a Karambit in price or passing, you know, a Talon knife in price. I don't think it's going to be doing that anytime soon, but I do think that it is definitely a a pretty solid investment for the future. I think that it can definitely see a large price increase like the butterfly knife if people were to hold on to it for a fair amount of time. And so for that reason, I think the flip knife is a good bet if you're looking for a knife type to invest in. Uh, for the skins that I would think are going to be the best for investing in, obviously the higher tier ones like the Fade, the Crimson Web, you know, those kind of uh, those kind of skins, those ones are going to increase more in value than the lower tier ones. So if you are going to invest in a flip knife and you have that kind of money to spend, I would go for something like that. So guys, that's about all there is to say about this topic. If you do have any further questions, be sure to ask me in the comments below or feel free to join my Discord server. It will be linked below as well. Or you can just hit me up on Twitter. Of course, I do have a Twitter account. I'm not using it as much as I am using Discord, but you know, I am going to be using it a little bit more frequently in the future. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and let's cue the outro. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video again, like I just said, and uh, also thank you for entering these secret giveaways. Those are going to be chosen pretty soon here around after the summer sale ends. And uh, make sure you join the Discord server so you can get notified on who wins those earlier than YouTube will be able to get notified on them. And on top of that, guys, I also wanted to say thank you for all the support recently. I've been getting a lot more views on my videos, especially since the summer still has started, which is really cool. I've also been getting a lot more subscribers. I'm almost at 200. I think I'm at 184 or 183, something like that, the current date of recording this. And uh, that is really cool. I'm really glad that we're about to hit 200. I think that I can definitely improve my channel a lot more going forward. And I hope we can hit even bigger milestones in the future. Obviously, the bigger the milestone that I hit, the more time I'll be able to invest into my YouTube channel. And uh, that'd be really cool to actually have a career off of this. So hopefully that does happen sometime in the future. But right now, not concerned on that. I'm just concerned on providing quality content with, with you guys and making sure that you enjoy all my videos. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe if you do want more content like this. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.